On August 15, 1962, the U.S. Army BZ-11 Flight Research Program progressed to the buildup of propulsion system hardware, scale model wind tunnel testing, and the completion of the full-scale engineering mock-up. One of the last items in the final assembly of the airplane mock-up was the installation of the simulated wing fan. Although constructed without moving parts, the fan mock-up is dimensionally the same as the fans that will power the flight test aircraft. It provides mounting familiarity and experience prior to the mating of propulsion system and airplane. The front frame, one of the first lift fan components to be manufactured, serves as the mounting and support structure for all other lift fan parts. It is made of a chrome nickel alloy. The design of the BZ-11 front frame was changed from that of previous lift fans to incorporate a fourth strut leading from the hub to the cold side of the bell mount. This change will add stiffness and improve axial clearance. After spot welding of the bell mount was completed, the entire assembly was heat treated. Manufacture of the front frame was finished with the installation of fastener hardware. The wing fan rear frame was also completed and prepared for final assembly. The simulated pitch fan was positioned on the engineering mock-up. The pitch fan is essentially a scaled-down copy of the wing fan. In choosing the design for the pitch fan inlet closure, this one produced the least flow loss compatible with visibility and actuation requirements. When closed, the inlet presents a smooth, aerodynamically clean surface. In flight, the louvers will be fully open in the VTOL mode and fully closed in conventional flight. During the manufacture of the pitch fan, the rotor disc was broached to produce the 36-blade dovetail slot. Machining of the disc was accomplished with standard tooling for fabrication of turbojet machinery. Only slightly different fixtures were required to position and hold the lightweight two-piece hollow disc. A pitch fan blade is inserted in one of the first cuts as a preliminary check. Quality control inspection of the pitch fan disc ensured accuracy of manufacturing tolerances. Precision pointers were used to establish radial position of the slots. After transfer of the inspection reading to an optical instrument, the exact positional relationship of each blade slot was verified. A trial assembly of the entire pitch fan rotor brought together the rotor disc, the blades, and turbine buckets. A proportion of the pitch fan blades received instrumentation wiring. Adhesive will secure the wire to the blade surface. Other pitch fan components, the front frame, and the rear frame were manufactured and placed in the final assembly area. Instrumentation of the fans is comprehensive and will be installed on all the fans that will be used in flight worthiness testing. Wiring is collected in harnesses to facilitate attachment to data recording equipment. Two different types of sensing leads are used. The electrical wiring will relay stress and temperature performance and the hollow tubing will record aerodynamic pressures in the fans. An RPM measuring pickup will be part of all lift fans. Readings from this instrument will be displayed in the BZ-11 cockpit. Trial assembly of major pitch fan components was performed, a standard operation in the buildup of all turbojet assembly. During this procedure, the front frame is at the bottom of the fan stack up. The rotor was spun to detect interferences. And it was determined that the rear frame could be added. 
The rear frame was placed over the rotor and a securing plate positioned. All preliminary fits and clearances were satisfactory. Horizontal alignment of the pitch fan scroll was checked with a sensitive dial indicator tool on the build-up inspection arbor. National Aeronautics and Space Administration wind tunnel tests aided in the identification of this butterfly door as the most suitable wing fan inlet closure. Scale model doors were installed on a 26-inch General Electric research fan to check performance during cross-flow conditions. Tufts were added to the door surfaces so that airflow pressure lines might be studied. The 26-inch fan was started. After the research fan reached full RPM, the larger wind tunnel fan was energized. It was apparent that at high cross-flow velocities, such as those that might be encountered in BZ-11 transition sequences, the butterfly door should cause very little distortion, even when fully open. On July 26th, a meeting with Federal Aviation Agency and TRECOM representatives was held to define FAA's participation in the flight research program. And during the first week of August, a BZ-11 configuration review was held at the Ryan plant. The full-scale engineering mock-up was the center of interest. Present were representatives of U.S. Army, NASA, the Federal Aviation Agency, General Electric, and Ryan. The mock-up was studied in detail. Major changes expected to be adopted include addition of a spin chute, addition of a fire seal between the J85 engine compressor and turbine, improved left forward visibility, and inclusion of UHF radio. Changes recommended as a result of the review mostly involved instrument and control relocations and provision for added wiring. Wind tunnel tests of a scale model BZ-11 in conventional flight configuration were conducted in this reporting period. Air speeds up to Mach 9 tenths and aircraft attack and yaw angles were studied in the tunnel. During the course of these tests, the newly adopted T-tail was installed on the model. Another type of scale model testing was initiated. This model of the BZ-11 with powered fans was used to evaluate aircraft performance with fans running. Effects of air speeds from hover to maximum conversion speed, ground effect at heights from less than one fan diameter to more than five diameters, angles of attack, yaw, and effects of pitch fan operation were observed. Correlation with full-scale model tests at NASA Ames was excellent. Propulsion system cross ducts were assembled at Ryan. Rigid fixtures were used to ensure that flanges would fit properly to match system ducting. Pressure checks were made to detect any possible leaks. Minor alterations were made to strengthen the cross-duct design as a result of these tests. The cross-ducts were shipped to General Electric for attachment to the system diverter valves preparatory to further tests. J85 engines were installed in the outdoor thrust frame on which the flight ribboness test of the propulsion system will be conducted in October. 
The engines were installed exactly as they will be in the BZ-11 in relation to other propulsion equipment. And the diverter valves were attached to the engine turbine exhaust flanges. The cross ducts were put in place. In the flight worthiness test, only one wing fan will be operated and the other side of the system will be back pressured to simulate the second fan. With this exception, these tests will use a complete propulsion system. Power plant design, scale model inlet testing, and the aircraft mock-up are complete. Aircraft design, aircraft fabrication, and flight test program planning are on schedule. Power plant manufacturing, propulsion flight worthiness tests, scale model conventional, fan-powered, and flutter model tests are slightly behind. However, it is expected that these sub-programs will be completed on time. At the end of this reporting period, the program has met all major milestones to date. With the BZ-11 configuration established, lightworthiness tests are the next step in this research program for the U.S. Army.